Show them how much your fingers don't move by putting them in there.
steady now, but any time I'm not sitting or laying down, I am wanting this yin belt around my waist. And what this does is it enables somebody to grab the belt and really control my balance and pull me back in front of the hole. So excellent safety device. And if it wasn't for this, I would be bed bound right now. But I'm still struggling to be, you know, human. Um, I have this great chair that I'm sitting in that has, um, a head rest when my neck gets tired, uh, and it also is reclining, so I mean, I can almost sleep in the thing. Um, I have my bed here, which is a hospital, hospital bed, flowing uh, uh, electric, uh, which is my I have my hospital table on there, which has my whole world in it. It has my remote for the TV. It has my Kindle reading device. Uh, it has my phone. It has my glasses. It has the spaghetti trainer smooth which I usually see in the rash, in rash, it's in on my head. Um, we tell I'm not making a spaghetti. No, no. Um, lately I've been having an issue where when I'm upstairs in bed and my one caretaker is downstairs, they cannot hear me. So, I have recently purchased a, and you can see I can barely move the darn thing in my hand. I have recently purchased a, a baby monitor system with two receivers, and uh, I'm the baby. So, um, it's nice to be able to communicate now while I'm trying to scream because I'm screaming right now. It's about all I can do. Now, all that being said, oh, I also have my oxygen behind me. I want to get short of breath. I hook up the oxygen. Um, now, in an effort to keep my body moving, I have also been using this little bell device. When I'm sitting in my wheelchair, I can just sit there and bell. It can also be put on, um, on a, a table, and I can move my arms. And then I have this device hanging from the door here, which helps me to keep some kind of laser motion in my um, shoulder. Um, anyway, I have my Bluetooth device to work in my ear. If it wasn't for this, I would not be able to even answer in the phone. Uh, we have a wheelchair ramp here, and one in the door, so I can move around. And, um, you know, I don't know what to say other than this is a sneaky, vicious, brutal, torturous illness. It never goes away. Every day, uh, something seems to be lost, and um, it's tough on the ground.
Wow. You should do a video trying to stand up. Oh. That's oh. fun. Oh my god. <laughs> we just got you down here. We'll do that later. Uh, is there any out here in the what about that upside down machine? Do you still use oh, that? I, I use a cheater. I can go. I'll go look for it. And that cheater hang up is red. How long do you go upside down in this? I do 20 to 30 minutes. Now, the reason is, all of these muscles, they're getting weak in my shoulders and my chest and my stomach. When I hang upside down, all the pressure is relieved. And so, uh, I'm hanging upside down. Uh, man. It's the only time that you can really straighten out your neck, right? Yeah, and... Oh, yeah. And, um, it's really hard to get on and off. Put your... Yeah, keep your head forward. I want them to see how much this has swollen up here. Like a dinosaur. Yeah, well, yeah, what happens is the muscle mass goes away, and what is left is the bony mass of the knees, which you can see quite well. And because of, I've lost so much weight, I weigh about 170 now, and I started at 250. Um, I only had a six-pack in my abs for a while because of losing all that weight. Uh, I think I took a couple of pictures of that, um, this is because it was cool. Um, but I must say that I've had a lot of fun with this day last thing. But it really is no fun anymore, and I want to go home. Have you told them about your diet? Oh. Uh, Pretty strict, uh, gluten-free and well, fruits and veggies? Yeah, gluten-free and almost all fruits and vegetables. No, no, it's helping at all. A lot of meditation, prayer, uh, etc. Um, I'll probably do another video on that. Anyway, I probably forgot a lot of stuff. Uh, but you can imagine, uh, that was your whole life being a small square box. Um, it's really frustrating. Going up and down the stairs takes like 40 minutes now, right? We timed it? No, it takes about... Uh, 15. No, it doesn't. And that's only because of the lap belt and the fact that I put banisters on both sides yeah. of the stairs. And I have these uh, safety bars and one right behind me. I have these things all over the house. All over the house. In the bathroom, I have four of them within six feet of right the there. Not in that bathroom, a lot of them. Well, this bathroom has a special toilet, too. Yeah, special toilet. I mean, this thing just absorbs your life. <laughs> it absorbs your life? Mm hmm. Anyway, I think that's all for today. I will keep doing these as long as I think you can understand what I'm saying. So after that, I'll just have to think a lot. 
Maybe I could do a video where I'm just looking at the camera and think about some. <laughs> really intense video, yeah, just really stare just contest. Yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, well, then you can have Carol do the videos. Yeah. Alright, baby, I think that's enough for now. Alright. Thank you very much.